Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the MT Power Drum Kit 2 Virtual Instrument Plugin in Reaper. Now, in this tutorial, I want to show you one of my favorite free drum software plugins called MT Power Drum Kit 2 by Manda Audio, which works with Windows, Mac, and Linux. The MT Power Drum Kit is a free drum sampler offering the powerful, high quality sounds of an acoustic, realistic drum kit. Samples have been specifically recorded and processed to make my ideally suited fusion pop, rock, and metal productions. So if we go to the website, we can go up here and click the download free button, which takes us to this page. We can download it for Windows, Mac, or Linux. Then once it's installed, we can open up Reaper. And like in the previous videos, we can right click over here, insert virtual instrument on new track, go to our instruments, and find the plugin right here. MT Power Drum Kit. Double click it. And the Reaper asks us if we want to build some routing to send each drum to a different track. But to keep it simple, in this video, we're not going to do that. We'll put it all on one track. And here's what the plugin looks like. And we can trigger it with our USB MIDI keyboard. Down here, to play a variation of each sound. Notice there's three different snares. To make it sound more realistic. Now we can go over here to the settings and readjust what MIDI key triggers which drum. Over here, we could change them by typing them in, or use MIDI Learn over here, and then save or load any changes we make. Then we can go over here to the mixer, and mix our sounds from here. Turn them on and off over here, play them from here, Change their volume, add some compression to each sound, or send each sound to a different output if you want to use different tracks to mix the drums. So obviously, we could just play a drum part and record it into Reaper. Like this. But that's not the most powerful feature with this plugin. Let's undo that. Let's move this track up here. What's even more powerful is using the grooves down here, which are pre-programmed drum parts that are already set up for our use. Right over here, four four grooves between 60 and 150 beats per minute. The same grooves a bit faster with a shuffle feel and 6-8. And we can see them by opening them up from here. Here's some intro ones. Or we could choose different beats. Some eighth note closed hi-hat with different variations. A special hi-hat.
some snare note ghosts. A pre snare. A double snare. And a bunch of offbeat grooves. And there's different variations for 16th note. Half open hi-hat. Right symbol. Bell ride. Crash. And China. and also some Tom Grooves. We could also adjust the velocity of each part over here. So if we choose an eighth note closed hi-hat, we could use it soft, Normal. Or heavy. Now if you notice, over here, there are different fills that pop up based on the grooves we choose. They're meant to work with each one. So if we choose the eighth note closed, here are the fills that work with this groove. Which is the reason why it defaults to three bars, but we could change it here to one or eight bars. But if we keep it at three, it's set that way so we can add a one bar fill at the end. So let's drag these in to Reaper. Let's say we want to use this one, 
just drag it in right here and place it. And we get three bars of that part. Then we can choose a fill and drag that in at the end and get a total of four bars, which sounds like this. If you want to swap it out for a different one, let's choose a shuffle. Just drag it in and drop it. Reaper asks us if we want to replace it. Let's try a different fill. Drop it here. Replace it. And now we have this groove. We can go through the whole song, dropping in each groove as we need them. Or we can use a different feature down over here called the composer. Let's delete these. Let's choose some beats. Let's start with an eighth note hi hat. Let's choose this one. Let's say we like this one to start. Drop it in right here, and it adds it in. Let's choose a fill. Let's say we like this one. Now let's move on to a 16th note part. We could drop this one in like this, choose a fill to go with it, and keep adding parts as we need them. Let's try an eighth note ride. Drag that in, along with a fill. And then finally, let's choose a china. Maybe this one, drag it in, drop it. Maybe this fill. And if we decide we want to use all this in our song, just drag it from here. And the whole thing drags in from beginning to end. Let's loop our piano. And let's hear our part. Pretty simple. So as you can see, besides sounding really good, the real power of this software is all the grooves it comes with. So if we're not comfortable programming drums, this software will do it for us. Of course, we could still edit or tweak the MIDI later. So that's pretty much it. That's the MT Power Drum Kit 2 in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>